our organization to go out and get the biggest and the best sports and entertainment events to bring to the city, to bring to Toyota Center. And you can't get much bigger than the NBA All-Star Weekend. It's, good. it's just going to be a fantastic time. We look forward to welcoming everybody, out-of-town guests, Rocket fans from all over the world, uh, to come in and have a great time in the city. You know, in February of this past year, I had the opportunity to experience for the first time an NBA All-Star Game live. And I have to tell you that for the entire first quarter, my jaw was literally on the ground. I was just in a state of amazement watching these players and the concentration of talent, these 10 guys on the, on the court at the same time, almost seemingly telepathically communicating with each other to set up alley-oop slam dunks, no-look passes. Um, it, was, it literally blew my mind. And Les, uh, tell us your experience uh, of the All-Star Game and why you're so happy to have it here in the city of Houston. Well, it's great for the city, obviously. The financial impact is dramatic. It's great for the fans, a lot of fun, a lot of events. And it's great for the players. Some of them will be in it, and it's, it just puts the whole world on, on us for that weekend, which is fabulous for the city. It's pretty crazy for me just growing up being a basketball fan and voting for the All-Star team and now seeing my name on it is pretty weird, but I'm just honored and excited to be mentioned in the same breath as some of these great, talented, and unbelievable basketball players on the same All-Star ballot, so I'm really just honored. How much do you enjoy playing here in Houston now, big fella? What do you say? How much do you enjoy? See, I'm from Texas, and it's hard to understand Texans. Even if you're from Turkey, uh, it's hard to understand Texas. Yeah. But how do you enjoy it here in Houston so far? I'm really happy to be here, the great city and the playing great organization. I'm really excited, and it helps me playing a lot, too. And, you know, it's become a worldwide event. Uh, that's why it's on NBA International today. Uh, when we had Yao Ming, we realized that. They used to have breakfast with Yao in China with all of his basketball games. And I guess in Asia, they're talking about Jeremy Lin all the time, too. Well, thanks to the fans in Asia. And uh, hopefully the breakfast is good. And uh, you know, make sure to get online and vote. Uh, you know, bringing wins to the city. Uh, we We've done a great job, you know, thus far in the season of putting ourselves in position to win. So, um, you know, my, my focus and I think the rest of our focus is winning games. And I, I think that's going to give us a better opportunity, you know, to you know, make an all-star team. So at Sprint, we're honored to be presenting sponsor of all-star balloting and to be associated with an event of this stature. And what makes it all that much more special for us is that we're associated with the mechanism that allows the fans to choose the NBA all-star starting lineup. And bringing fans closer to sports through mobile technology is something that we strive to achieve across all our sponsorships at Sprint. And in this case, it means that you can vote from the convenience of these, this amazing little device I hold here in my hands. So to NBA fans, I say vote early, vote often. And if you happen to be a Sprint customer with a truly unlimited data plan, you can vote as often as you want without having to worry about busting out your monthly data limit. Tad, which uh, players should be starters? Well, I've got uh, Ashik, and in an upset, I've got Parsons starting at uh, small forward. I would have never guessed that. That's the correct answer. Other Eastern Conference front court player from Chandler Parsons. Uh, I went with LeBron James. Yeah, you chased him all night, didn't you? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, you got to see a lot of these guys uh, when you were playing for the Knicks last year. Who gets your vote? Uh, I'm, I'm going to vote for John Rondo. Boy, he's having a great start. Indeed. And then the final selection on our first ballot goes to James Harden. James, who's it going to be for you? Uh, it's going to be Darren Williams from the Brooklyn Nets. All right. Darren from the Brooklyn Nets. So there it is. Our panelists have cast their first votes in the 2013 NBA All-Star balloting presented by Sprint. Voting opens today, remember, and you can cast ballots every day until January the 14th. One final reminder.